Hello, lovely people. We're gonna do a gorgeous pasta, my sausage and broccoli pasta. Very simple, straightforward, and this is something my family absolutely love. First up, uh, we've got a pan on, a casserole style pan. We've got a pan of boiling water on. We have got some gorgeous chipolatas. You can use any sausages that you want. A new technique here, boil it for a few minutes and it's gonna set the shape. I'm gonna slice it up into little discs. It means I can distribute the sausage more evenly. In the water at the same time, this humble friend here, broccoli, the boring stalk that everyone throws away. Trim the woody end off, and this will go into the pan of boiling water with my two chilies. Now you can use one or two chilies. All chilies have different heat, so you can kind of duck and dive as you see fit. And that's just gonna cook away for a couple of minutes. It will just soften up nicely. We're gonna have a little bit of olive oil in a pan, about a tablespoon goes in, fennel seeds, a nice heap teaspoon goes in. It's gonna be delicious. Garlic. So I'm gonna finely slice the garlic up, put that to one side. We'll slice two onions up. I'm gonna take the sausage out now, and you can see it's, it's pale, but it's firmed up nicely. And then I can just slice this up. But in it goes. Slice up the stalks into little chunks. They're absolutely delicious. So in with the stalks. Slice up your chilies. I'm gonna add half of them here. You can kind of pimp it up a little bit later. Look at those colors, gorgeous. Fennel seeds, the fat's now coming out of the sausage. And then we're gonna go in with the garlic. And after about a minute of the garlic being in, then we'll go in with the onions. So good for you and they'll sweeten up really, really nicely. It's the kind of dish that loads of people love. My family absolutely love it. And even better, we've got three of our five fruit and veg a day in this one dish. So, you know, we've got all sorts of things from vitamin K in the broccoli, vitamin C, break off little florets. You know, you've got loads more vitamin C in the chilies. So I'm gonna use a herb, guys, um, oregano. But I've got fresh, absolutely all of us have got dried. Feel free to use it, but it's always nice to use the fresh stuff. So about half a little bunch is perfect. Keep it on a medium heat, and over 15 minutes, you're gonna develop amazing flavor. Everything's softening up. Look at the colors. Put in a nice little splash of vinegar, and then you just wanna cook that vinegar away so you're left with the fragrance. A nice little tartness, which is really, really good with the pork and the tomatoes. And then in with the tin tomatoes. We're gonna to use plum tomatoes. Put about half a tin of water in as well just to clean the tin out. I'm gonna turn the temperature down a little bit and I'll break up the tomatoes just to help them along a little bit. Rich tomato, sausage and broccoli sauce. We'll let that simmer for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna put the pasta in. I'm gonna use whole wheat tagliatelle. Um, whole wheat is a brilliant trade up from regular pasta. Okay, so it's gonna be digested slower, you know, it's, it's more fiber. So I'm gonna put 300 grams of pasta into some salted boiling water. And then you got that nice harmony of the pasta cooking as that simmers, it smells incredible. So let's check the pasta. Pasta's nearly there. So I'm gonna go in with the broccoli just for two minutes, right? We wanna keep it full of color, retain as much of the nutrient content as possible. So we'll stir that through. I can put that lid back on if I want. Uh, look at this sauce, absolutely incredible. I'm gonna turn the sauce off now. You can see it's blipping away. Grate some Parmesan, just 30 grams. Parmesan has that amazing ability to kind of have that beautiful flavor, seasoning, but also join all the flavors up together. And then we're gonna go in with our pasta and broccoli. Give it a nice little toss up like this. This is an absolute family classic. Whether it's for little kids, friends, I'm just gonna finish it with a few strokes of Parmesan. A lovely array of all the food groups that your body needs. Uh, it's also incredibly delicious and fun to make. Until next time, take care.